All right, hello. Welcome to another video. Uh, today we are going to have a little uh, explore of the pubs on the Plymouth Barbican on the seafront. Let's go and have a little look at the old pubs. Why not? All right then, so across from the Mayflower Steps this was going to be our first pub, the uh, Admiral McBride but it's closed never mind, let's carry on lots more pubs to uh, investigate we'll head on straight over here to where I can see our next one not sure the name of it but uh, Let's explore. That's where I'm staying, just up that little alleyway there. New Street, which is the oldest street in Plymouth. This is the next spot right here, this is the Crown and Anchor. Let's go and see what they've got on offer. First things first, order the tribute, and that is what we've got given. Tribute's not supposed to look like that, which is very, very sad. It's a little bit more like it. This is the Jail Ale. All right, so that was the, uh, the first pub, the Crown and Anchor, just behind me, over there. Uh, wasn't a fan, was not a fan of that pub. Um, first of all, got a tribute, and it was disgusting. So I took it back and swapped it for a jail red ale, which was actually quite nice. But I got questioned to the point to, the, uh, to say that, are you sure the beer's not right? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Didn't like the attitude of the, uh, the barmaid. Um, pub wasn't all that. And the beer wasn't all that. So, uh, not a fan of that one. We'll be going back there. Uh, but many more to explore. The next one is this one right here. This is the uh, Navy Inn. Let's go check it out. Right, and there we have it, that was the uh, Navy Inn, nice little pub, um, not much regards to uh, real ale, but uh, the atmosphere was nice, uh, the beer was actually better, uh, I did have a Doomba uh, on that one, so uh, we're going to carry on, we'll have a little look around, but uh, in the meantime, check out this view. So tonight is Tuesday night. Tuesday night, I don't know the date. A little bit of atmosphere over here. Live music. These uh, restaurants. A little bit of live music there. One's closed. Never mind. Mm -hmm. 
And this one here, we've got the ship. It's a nice little pub, this one. Got nice beers on in this one. I did go in here last night. So I can tell you that uh, the atmosphere is good, nice and clean. So we're going to carry on. And head over across the uh, the pond. This one right here is uh, Jumping Jacks, which is more of a nightclub vibe. I was in there as well last night. Let's look at some footage. There you go. And it's this one here that we're heading towards. This one is the Three Crowns. Not been in this one before, so uh, hopefully it's nice. Let's check it out. All right, then we've now gone for uh, a tribute, which is what we initially went for in the first pub, but didn't look too good. So uh, expecting good things. Nice little pub, nice atmosphere. Really cozy. Comfy seats. Really nice drop, really nice drop. Okay, uh, that was my favourite so far. That was the uh, three crowns here down on the Barbican. Uh, really nice drink, really nice atmosphere, uh, really friendly people. Um, yeah, I like that one. That was a nice pub. Uh, we're going to carry on then now. Next one we've got is over here. However, I did go into this one last night. This is the Maritime Inn. Let's cut to some footage of the inside of this pub. This one is very, very nice actually. Um, they have uh, couches at the back. And uh, yeah, nice selection of beer. Uh, really comfy, really cozy. And uh, when I went in there last night, it was very, very quiet. We're gonna carry on onto the front. And there is another pub along here. So we'll head down the side of the Maritime. Lovely old building. All these buildings, all these pubs are actually built on uh, reclaimed land. Uh, this is the new key here in Plymouth. Let's see what we've got. Really nice pub. We're going to head over to uh, this little small one that I saw earlier on. Don't know the name of it. The Queen's Arms. Let's check out the Queen's Arms. All right, got the Queen's Arms. There it is. That was... Um, Nice, nice little pub was that. That was really, really nice. Really comfy, really cozy. Beer was good. Really, really nice. And uh, yeah, just really, really nice. Felt really comfortable in there. Nice music as well. So there's the uh, Plymouth Gin Distillery. Not going to go in there tonight, but uh, originally that was the Black Friars Monastery. Then it got uh, demolished during the desolation of the monasteries by Henry VIII. Then it became a debtor's prison for a long time. And then eventually the Plymouth Gin Distillery that we know of today, which is the oldest gin distillery in the world. And the road right here, this is the original um, line of where the sea used to come up. So all of this over here, on this side, is reclaimed. 
That's, uh, it originally was uh, the sea on this side here. Anyway, our final pub is a Weatherspoons. This is the Gog and Magog, which were the fictional king, uh, fictional sons, the sons of the fictional king, King Lud. Uh, never been in this one before. Let's check it out. Bright. Looks a nice little beer. Um, the reason why I got this one is because as a kid I was a big, big fan of Tack the Otter, which was uh, it's a book but which got made into a movie. I was always a fan of the movie. Um, and I know it was set down here in Devon. So uh, I've got a, a little inkling it's something to do with that. But uh, yeah, Otter's Bright. With the spoons down here on the barbecue. No chops. Please board the car. <laughs> <laughs> this pub is 